You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Hey everybody and welcome to Miscast Commentary, a coming attractions episode. This is Joe Findlay. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we have got a quick one for you today. We don't want to inundate you. You've already gotten an episode out of us this week. With I our mean, Halloween come episode. on. Like, how much so do you want? We hope your God ha- almighty. We hope your Halloween was good. Oh. Um... It's actually Devil's Night right now. Yeah, as we record in this, the real it is world. Devil's Night. Uh, our city is on fire. Is yeah. your city on fire? Yeah. Tweet at us. And we're not. Yeah, <laughs> send it out. The last thing. Don't save your family. Tweet us. Yeah. Um, but we have. They don't deserve it. We do. <laughs> But the horror movies are done, not for the whole year, but, you know, we make it I can't believe that it's Devil's Night and we're not watching a horror movie. Because we've already watched the horror movies in September. It was weird. But, uh, we like to mix it up. Yeah, the way- I don't get freaky when you fucking tell me to get freaky. I get freaky when the freak flag flips, Fanny. Yeah, so if you're out there, Fanny, you, <laughs> you've been put on blast. <laughs> you're fucking right. You're, uh, I hope Fanny, somebody's like, what the fuck? What are you call, why are you calling Some me out? Some huge dude in prison. I'm Fanny. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm coming for you, Miss Cast Commentary. I'm a big fanny of your show. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Fanny. I think we've already stretched this longer than we wanted to. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. But yeah, anyways, though, we got a lot to talk about in that we've, uh, we're have we out of the horror movie month now. We're yep. going into a brief buffer period because once December comes we're getting into the more holiday winter theme yep, movies yes. and stuff like that like Die Hard so, like Die Hard well, yeah, we did Die Hard last year and see what happens this year what? no spoilers <laughs> don't open it early don't pee. no spoilers we're not going to find out whether or not we die harder till later uh, or die hardest no Is it, was that the name of any of the other ones like there's Live Free or Die Hard there was or Die Harderer Die Harderer yep even harder this time. Die Hardy. It's when he teams up with the Hardy Boys, the um, the, the young detective men, not the tag team, and they uh, yeah, they solve some shit, and it's gonna be great. Die over medium. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Eggs. Sunny side up. Other things. So yeah. Anyways, so we've got uh, some movies to deal with now, and then we've got uh, yeah, we've got our winter, but then we've got a pretty big announcement for the new year. Oh yes, we are uh, doing. We an- are getting married. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have left whoever we are, are, are. Fuck it. We just said forget it. Why? Why do we pretend anymore? No. You know. We gotta put my dick somewhere, and he's You're the nearest. Damn right, I am. <laughs> but speaking of assembling, uh, some other people have assembled. Assembling. Yeah, well, yeah. okay, I get it. Assembling. Uh, I don't really get it, guys. Uh, tweet, tweet at me if you get it. <laughs> tweet. Uh, somebody, somebody tweet at me for something. Uh, at me. At me. We, we've we decided on a pretty bold oh undertaking. Oh, my Lord. That will start uh, on January 4th will be the first one, and it will end just in time. That's all I'll tell you for that. No, uh, we are going to be doing commentary for the entire MCU. Wow. Week after week. No mini episodes in between. There's no coming attractions because you'll just know the next episode's coming. The it's, next movie's it's coming. the next one in the and Marvel so sh- gauntlet. From, We're running the motherfucking gauntlet. From January 4th mm. to May 3rd, every Friday, you will get a new Marvel movie by us. This is like this is like podcast digs town. This is like bring yes. it, bring it. Mm, what from mm, 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 mm. exactly? You're going to uh, hear us slowly lose our minds if you haven't heard that already over the last two years oh, and a bit. Yeah. But uh, it's going to be a big one, and we will talk talk more in detail about that as the uh, as we get closer to that date because we got a couple months before that starts. It's always up. a it's always a fucking big one when it's me and you, baby. You got that right. Two exceptional Fuck people yeah. coming together, giant penises, and the DC people fucked it up. So the only people we can use as a proper analogy for yep. what we are is the MCU. Is, Fuck you, DC. That's right. But uh, <laughs> how dare you? I don't you. even know why I did that. Good because um, they deserved it. But thanks uh, for taking my fucking money. There you go. Not a lot of it though. <laughs> but speaking, <laughs> like enough. Yeah, just uh, one movie was enough. Two of them were on Netflix. Like, so oh, I'm yeah, I'm paying for that uh, though. Yeah, I'm paying for it, but a it's small not, portion that's going whole, towards that movie. Yeah, that yeah, exactly. Like a tiny fragment, a little. That's what I need to do to justify Netflix and stuff. Now I'm gonna list everything I've watched in a month. And then break it down and said, like well, financially, per, yeah. per thing I watched, it well, only what does it break down to me? Cents. Well, it depends. Well, it depends on what they paid for it too. Yeah, then, right? So yeah. I don't give a shit what they paid for. I'm giving a shit what I pay for. It's like when you go to a buffet. If you go to a buffet and eat one plate, you did not get your money worth. You yeah. spent like thirty bucks. I pull my eat. chair right up to that mum- oh. motherfucker. 
I I make fuck. contact anytime you see like uh, one of the bus boys or whatever, like bringing out like one of those hot trays of like like the, 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 the re up. Yeah, the re up. You make I make deep sensual eye contact with them <laughs> and said, "You and me, we're about to be going through something for the next two oh, hours." Oh yeah, two hours. So yeah, um, I get the sweats. Now something take a shit, you know, just really put some roots down, (laughs) you know, make some long distance calls. Yeah. But I do have one gripe about uh, uh, we have a place, the Mandarin in Canada. Well, I think like, uh, does this sound like the man who had had all he could eat? Yeah. (laughs) I could be any of us. No, I don't have that. gripe. (laughs) uh, No, I I don't even like Americans won't even get this because they don't use this as a condiment. Oh, they don't get anything. But vinegar, white vinegar. Is a used condiment for French fries and stuff oh, like that it's over disgusting. here. Disgusting. Well, it's, well, it's disgusting. I've seen the way you eat ketchup, so don't even start. And <laughs> vinegars and ketchup. So Sometimes ketchup is but a meal. It, it's true. One time, yeah. no word of a lie, we were like maybe twelve. Todd went to a fry truck and ordered the fries. He offered them up, and like this was one of those cool places where they they put the fry thing in a pa- paper bag and just dump fries into it. Like you know, yeah, you uh, run the risk of losing a lot though. It's chaos. Yeah, there's so many. He fills that paper bag up but todd put so much ketchup in there by the time he offered some to me and i reached in i had ketchup up to my elbow <laughs> i remember that that it, was awesome it was and it was like summer ketchup. and it's i good. just had ketchup all over my arm it was covered he in never why he still hasn't washed it off well i got i tried it's but it's disgusting like, it's like needles hair. hanging off it's, it's kind of nice though because the old hand you shed nobody can escape me <laughs> it's just like <laughs> it, it, that's your you know it's like a, it's like it's covered in gorilla glue at this point um, but going okay, gorilla. But anyways, uh, uh, whose hands on my ass? But anyways, gorilla. We're talking about vinegar. Very important shit here. It is um, good for heartburn, though. That's what they recommend. Instead of having like uh, uh, the dastardly tums or roids, which is just compounds the problem. Anyways. you take a shot of vinegar. Yeah. Boom. All right. Well, let's neutralize those acids. That's right, baby. With vinegar. I drank like half a bottle of vinegar at a um, cast party that <laughs> uh, for a play that Todd and I were in, and it was on a dare. Like I felt like it was on a dare, but then it occurred to me that no. Nobody really dared me yeah, to do it. I was it. just doing it. Well, like, I was, check this out. <laughs> hey, remember that thing when I was on stage getting attention and now I'm not? Here we go. <laughs> like that was yeah. basically it. But um, yeah. but anyways, sugar. this place, the Mandarin, when you ask for vinegar, they don't bring you a vinegar shaker, which you can get for a dollar. Uh, they bring you a bowl with poured vinegar in it mm. and a spoon. Mm. And a sponge. Yeah. It's like sponge it on. Like I get mad at like places when they do that with Parmesan. You see that a lot, like a buffet, like wedding buffets where they have pasta at the end. They'll have a bowl. He's of constantly Parmesan breaking into wedding buffets. It's the they don't way. even notice. It's the only way I eat, I can't afford yeah. food. Fuck, man, fill your pockets up. This, this doesn't make us money. It costs us money. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're in the hole. You betcha. I, but, uh, Daddy needs to eat, and I can't claim any of it as a tax write off. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Well, at least you find the receipts. That's why I'm trying to snuggle up to it's all out dad in the there. Most to of dad. this is most of this is stolen from lesser podcasters. <laughs> but um They're not even here. And by lesser I mean ones we could wrestle it away from. We're actually just uh one guy who just chops up words from other ones and sticks them together to sound like us. There is no us. Agreed, donkey man. And I don't know why he's putting this in right now. I know. <laughs> exposing himself. Exactly. He is the um the he's serial killer now. who like cuts and yeah, pastes exactly. letters from the magazine. Only it's like I am the president of the you know? Yeah. Except he's saved it for dick jokes about nerd you, movies. No, exactly. And every now and then we were like, was that Morgan Freeman? Yes. Was that Harrison Ford? Like, yeah. what's happening here? Yeah. yeah. Why are half of Joe's words just the uh, the angry Mel Gibson call <laughs> to his yeah. wife? You fucking bitch! Who wants some cake? <laughs> Who wants you fuck it up? That was I love it. Oh my pick. god! Uh, not even close. But anyway, so going back to Marvel now. Um, we want to talk about Marvel TV for a little bit. I have had the opportunity to see the new Daredevil season. Oh, how is it? I didn't know it was out. Fantastic. Hey, don't, don't say anything. I'm going to watch it right now. Really I'm going to watch season. it right now. Yeah. I'm leaving. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, I've got a long day ahead of me Fucking by myself, right. then. It will not be interesting. But um, <laughs> oh, Yes, it will. Oh, hell yeah. No, when I record by myself, it's a nightmare. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, most more for me than anybody. It's just like, nobody's here. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really good. But then we were talking, I was just talking before we started recording about the uh, cancellation of Iron Fist, which people had widely agreed was like a much improved show this season. The Does fight, that make it good, f- though? It was good. The fights were better. Like th- To me, the story was good in the first season. Yeah. The fights sucked. 
This year they got the fights I didn't watch down. It. I heard it was and, a piece of shit. Oh, it wasn't. So um and then luke cage went and then i happened to see somebody on twitter and they just kind of like opened my eyes to the real possibility that they made that disney made them cancel trump it so they could it have it on their own nope they, luke what? cage is black yeah trump made the call yep and uh danny rand is from kun lun yep exactly so he's a dirty asian as far as he's concerned yep, it's cunt lint cunt lun <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you think he'd be behind that <laughs> nope Ugh. Hates women too. But yeah, anyways, I think uh, just kind of the little conspiracy theory that they're making them get those off of their plate so that the Disney streaming app can get it on. Of course, Disney wasn't going to start their own fucking streamer. Well, as well they should. It's going to cost them. Like, think of their about, library. What about the vault? Well, no, don't Maybe worry about this month. We'll see. Yeah. You well, know, that, I don't uh, even know that Snow that's White. much of a thing anymore. I don't hear much about that anymore. Somebody you don't raided see... the vault, yo. Yeah, somebody raided the vault. But though the the idea, imagine you could only get, say, the vault was still there, and you could only get a couple of Disney movies a year or whatever. Then picture all the Marvel movies, all the Star Wars movies, all the ABC properties, Muppets. all the Muppets, all of everything, Fox, everything that's on Fox, Avatar, so X, yeah, X Files. Is that a thing Simpsons now? Is that a straight through uh, deal? Yeah, that's done. It's done. It's done. It's been approved. But wow. um, Disney owns the world, man. We got it. So I mean, that will be, to, and to cost them nothing, like it's no overhead for them. Whereas like Netflix is hemorrhaging money to get their content. Yeah, whereas but I, th- I think Netflix is actually it. worth more than Disney now, though. No, I don't believe that. Yeah, so dude. True. Yep. No, I, I think it is. No, I don't, I don't even think I made that up. No, their stock went up, but they were like in the red. By like billions of dollars as of like a oh, couple months ago. Oh, who isn't? Well, Disney, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, they're doing just. I don't fine. know where I heard that. So somewhere it said that Netflix was now worth more than. We should look it up. Yeah, I don't know. We'll After this, uh, extremely short mini sode. Yes, that's already <laughs> too long. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but no, that it's interesting. I mean, it's its value is there. It has a value, a large value as a company, and it owns and like all that stuff. But the bottom line is, they don't own a lot of content like anything that they produce themselves they own and that's great but it costs them a lot of money to make it and all that stuff disney oh, yeah, has shit ton. disney has if you combine like the box office of everything that disney currently owns it could like rebuild the world like, yeah, they're not gonna scratch. do that they're just gonna rebuild disney no no i'm not talking about that like but again this is over time it's not like it's all been sitting in a bank waiting for this moment but i'm i'm just saying <laughs> they could no literally, idea they could literally just if if they had all that money they could just leave here and go build a world from scratch oh exactly just we're gonna go on the they opposite will. side of the sun and just keep the same it'll things probably we'll look like the death it. star or something just so they can make more some money yeah. off it i often think about that actually if there are uh, even though we've got satellites and stuff that would be able to figure this out and probes and whatnot I'm always pictured that there's another planet on the exact opposite side of the sun with the same rotation. So it's always on the opposite side of the sun. As right. Is. So there's just, you know. You don't see it. Yeah, it's just not there. I don't know. Is everything in reverse? Like, Are no. we there? Yeah. Is it like opposite bizarro world? We're doing much better podcast over there. No but, way. Uh, Our podcast is way shittier, but it's way popular. <laughs> wow. Grammar. That's all. Great. <laughs> I'll sit on that for a minute. <laughs> sit on that and rotate, baby. Uh, but you know what? This planet doesn't exist that we know of. But the one we're on right now, that's deep, bro. We're all inside. Whoa, we got it. We went there tonight. We're baby. all inside a machine. So if you think about defunct fake planets and machines, there's only one thing to think about. Segue of the year, ladies and Boom. gentlemen. Next week we're doing Transformers the movie. Yep. That was uh, pretty good, actually. This is the old 1986 movie that features voice talents of Leonard Nimoy, Orson Welles. Well, Orson uh, Welles. Judd Nelson. Uh, yeah, that's right. Judd Nelson as Rodimus Prime. Orson Welles did say in m- many interviews that he wanted to work with Judd Nelson. He did spit. He was like, yeah. he was like, oh, I can't do a thing, but I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> I do it specifically anyways. I wanted to be in the Breakfast Club. I was going to be the Emilio Estevez. It's not even That's close. amazing. Fuck, I'm really talented at that this. That sounded uh, like Marlon Brando drowning in chocolate sauce. Well, hopefully in this trailer, we'll hear a little bit more about how dead on I was. So let's give it a listen. Hold on tight. The most incredible rock and roll adventure ever is here. Feed him to the shark gun. Starring Judd Nelson as Hot Rod. Leonard Nimoy as Gal 
Silvatron and Orson Welles. I am the Grum. Beyond good, beyond evil, beyond your wildest imagination. Transformers, the movie. to a theater near you this August. All right, and so there we go. We are doing Transformers the movie. It's Transformers! Our... Is it our first animated movie? I More than meets the eye. I'm pretty sure it's our first animated movie. Is it? Yeah. Did pretty... we do Who Framed? Wow, well, like 50-50 Who Framed yeah, Roger Rabbit. Yeah, but I'm talking like 100%. Like, th- that's got rotoscoping. 100% you know? baby. So there we go. We, we don't even know. We've watched so many movies right now. We actually watched four cartoons, bro. Yeah. We actually did the entirety of The Land Before Time. You don't remember this? All the way to 13. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, what's this that, shit? That's Ducky. He was my favorite. And not John Cryer Ducky, just a different Ducky. The 80s was full of duckies. You, you damn right. Duck, duck. duck if it looks like a duck and yeah, all that other shit. Mean kids called me duck because I had my hips out of alignment, so my foot faces outwards. And he's like, you walk like a duck. <laughs> 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 that was basically, that was all he had. And then if I insulted him on anything else, he'd be like, at least I don't walk like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was just like it was everything. It was like, well, that's the all, all purpose, uh, you know, comeback. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. you know, fuck, man. They call me ducky because I like to fuck ducks. Oh, nice. They're not that watertight, I tell you. <laughs> but everything beads off, them, <laughs> off of their back. That's right. You know, water off a duck's back, come off a duck's back's yeah, the same. exactly. It's More than meets good. the eye. You ever shot yourself in the eyeball? No. Oh, neither have I. I think I came, <laughs> I came close. Oh, I was waiting. But... I, was, I thought that was just, oh, uh, yeah, me, me either. Let's <laughs> move on to another topic. You ever think about blowing your head off? Constantly. With a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew it, because I do too. Yeah. Well, this is why we do this good podcast. <sighs> We're going to we, do Russian roulette at the end of this one? Yeah. We have two episodes of our podcast where the title contains the word suicide. Whoa. Like, one of the earliest ones is like, this is the movie we'll commit suicide to. Nice. The, you know, this one we'll just call it Suicide, 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 yeah. the musical. But then, ironically... The uh, episode title while we do Suicide Squad will be I Wanna Live. <laughs> yeah, I was just kidding. Just kidding <laughs> around, man. It's not true. It's not true. So what's going on out there in the world? Nothing. We talked I didn't about see Marvel, nothing. That's the end okay, of good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, Halloween did really well. It did great. And now they're uh, talking to Danny, Danny McBride and his partner, uh, yeah. Gordo there. Did a great job. Gordon Green there. Yeah, I was. Uh, Gigi. I, I call him Gigi. We're tight. Gigi, yeah. Um, but then now they're saying like they totally do a sequel. It's been number one like two weeks in a row. I don't want them to, though. Like, this is my thing. Well, now I made money. Now they're like, hey, maybe. uh." They keep, and this is the problem with TV right now, too, is they'll bring something back, and instead of just. We need more seasons now. But just dealing of the goodwill. Like, when they brought back, like, what was the first one? Will and Grace? William and Gracie. Okay, and I thought they were just bringing it back, doing a few episodes, going, hey, here's just a little thank you to all our fans who are still fans out there and that kind of thing. Here's just a little, like, catch up with. uh, with the gang. And then all of a sudden it's a whole season. And then like it gets greenlit for a second season, like two episodes. Oh, they're in. going for a longer and run then, now than it was before. And then Roseanne did it. And then yeah. like, it was the Connors, but it's just like, and that's my thing. I was like, I keep thinking these are going to be like nice little reunion things that get you, let you kind of look back nicely, but also kind of give you a new, like, Hey, like the story has continued. You just haven't seen it. And right. here's a little bit more and then dip out. And then maybe a few years later, maybe we'll do a couple more episodes if the timing's right or whatever. But no, it's just literally everybody from the nineties when people watched sitcoms. Now they're all coming back. All come back because it's like, Oh, you watched well, all those these. bands are coming back around because everything sucks. Yeah. Now we need the old guard to come back. Well, and- they, th- they think raucous exactly but they the difference is i think that they think that people watched sitcoms back then and not now for a reason 
Right. But then also it's the way that people watch it. Cause that was a comment that they made. I get, here we go. Get your drinks out in community. <laughs> uh, in the, in the last season, they make reference to the fact that cause they got canceled from NBC from having low ratings. So then they went on Amazon and when Amazon had it, they found out that they had always had tens of millions of people watching them, but it was on like on demand and on like, right. like all these things that can't be measured the same way. So then, and like pirating and all these different things. So it was like, Oh, you, you guys had tons of viewers. It just so happened that you didn't see it in the one way you measure it. Right. So we can't. So oh, that's can't nice. Sounds so, like a rig job. Next fake, fake news. Fucking right. It is NBC a... fudging the numbers so they can get rid of the good shit. Hollywood full of fake Jews. Put on some more. This is us bullshit. <laughs> well, they did. That's that what, million little things or whatever. It oh, is. they're just going to have all those now. Uh, put through one another one of those like, like, uh, you know, ER dramas, like, ooh, or a cop show, you know, yeah. like, come on, get the fuck. Yeah, no doubt. That Hawaii Five O looks pretty good, though. Not going to lie to you. Have you seen it yet? How, you mean Magnum P.I.? Oh, Magnum P.I., yeah. I was going to say, Hawaii Five has been on for like seven ooh, years. Scott Kahn, eh? Scott Kahn. He's a firecracker. <laughs> you re- you remember him in the Oceans movies or in the last nope. season of Entourage? Sure don't. Same deal. <laughs> More <laughs> of the same. Yeah. I, I, want, like, uh, I want to do <clears throat> movies. I want to do remakes of movies, but the only people who can be in them wherever you can do it is the like the son or like some form of offspring of the uh, of the person who played it first. So if you remade The Godfather, Scott Kahn has to play James Kahn. Sweet. Uh, you know. Find one of Marlon Brando's Indian love children and they'll play <laughs> Don Carleone. Oh, man, I like where this is going. Abs of fucking lately. And I'm Al Pacino. Oh, no. Keanu Reeves was Al Pacino's son. Or it was in the, and, devil's uh, the devil's well, advocate. No, he was just kind of hired him to be his lawyer. But close enough. Well, no, but he was also his son. He was the well, devil's son. He impregnated Keanu Reeves' mother, who then gave birth to him. Oh, he was his son? Yeah. It was his son? It's been a while, hasn't it? Whoa. We're gonna what a get... twist. Okay. F- fuck Transformers. We're doing <laughs> Devil's Advocate right now. Sweet. Uh, we'll get to that one. Don't you just relax. We got lots of movies. Oh, yeah. Uh, once we, it's going to take us five years to get through, uh, you know, yeah. the MCU. It's going to be a few months. We're going to be all right. Uh, the last thing, really, I want to talk about uh, we have moved our Facebook from our Facebook page. We now have a uh, fan group. And that is something you have to join. Uh, so join in on that. And join that's us. where you'll get all of our news and all that stuff from now on. But also, we're going to be trying a little something new next week. This is the first I'm announcing it. Whoa. Uh, next week, we are going to have our first watch party. Watch uh, party! Where we are going to see a movie with miscast commentary blended in and it will be the first episode of miscast commentary marked for death sweet will be the first Screw one this. so join in join the group join the fun join the watch party and i'll be on there and we can chat the night away as we watch that and then you can say to us out loud what the fuck were you talking about <laughs> i like that so join the that direct group. feedback we're doing a lot of uh oh god yeah we're doing we're, we're gonna be doing a lot more interactive kind of stuff on that facebook so get your rotten get virtual there. vegetables ready to throw yeah. and as i put on um Poop uh, as I as I put on Facebook and Twitter, uh, as soon as we get that group to 500, we're going to give away one of our T Public T-shirts. Sweet uh, to a random member. So let's get us up huh? to five. Let's get up to 500 in that group sooner than later. Right now. Yeah, like by the end of this. Even though we Hell haven't released yes. this episode yep. as we're recording, it better it, be. It should already be there. 501 look. and counting. Nope, still 12. Fuck all of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to call it here. I know right it's on. a little short, but we've got a long schedule know, ahead strange. of us tonight. Strange. I know. Strange times. Um, so, as always, follow us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast. The website's miscastcommentary.com. Join our Facebook page. Uh, again, you can still follow our or join our Facebook group. Our Facebook page is still there, but it's now just directing you to the group. So, go to the group. And just if it doesn't say there. Micro Machines, it's not the real thing. Bye, folks. <laughs> This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. 
Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media production. I had nothing bad. I couldn't top that.